Okay, this is the first video uh, walkthrough of my Miller's Court VR experience. It's the first draft, first video. Everything's subject to change, everything will be changed. Um, but I wanted to just show off uh, what I've done so far and get some feedback, help and advice on basically everything that uh, needs changing. I'm standing here outside uh, Miller's Court obviously and there's the uh, Leonard Matters photograph uh, just to give some perspective there's the chair and I'll just put a chair there outside the arch of Miller's Court um, everything's to scale and what I want to do is just go into the shed as you notice on there it's, this isn't the shed on the on the Matters picture it's uh, a normal like, uh, front of house living room um, at the front of number 26 but I've put the shed double doors there I'm going to go over now using VR just to teleport uh, wherever that circle um, lands and I press the trigger on my control this white thing um, I'll, I'll uh, walk or teleport to it I can walk I can move forward back I can have a look down Miller's Court there um, but I won't do that at the moment. I'm going to go through the doors into the shed. Uh, can't interact with the model, um, so if I just if I just walked, I'd walk through those doors as if they didn't exist, which they don't, obviously, because it's virtual. But I can teleport through, so I'm going to teleport into the shed. Now, there you go. This is the shed. I'm going to explain everything as we go but I wanted to show you the scaling um, the scaling system I've used everything is real, real world sizes so you can see 12 inch ruler there that um, controller that is in front of you now is what's in my right hand and everything is scaled so if I put that over the shadow of the controller you can see it's the same size so uh, everything is exactly um, scale to real world sizes that's a a six foot uh, well six foot measure as you can see one two three four five six and if I stand here and then go towards it you'll see I'm not actually six foot but I'm a little off six foot I'm a little bit smaller than that but you can see it's pretty close to my size uh, five foot eleven ish um, so as we walk around all the doorways are real sizes um, roofs are real everything is a, is the right scale that was just a very very quick uh, explanation of the size you'll use that is a brick a house brick or a house brick size at least and uh, again I've used uh, these sizes on uh, all the models that I've used uh, to try and get everything you know, as accurate as I as I think I can uh, house brick size I think it was let's have a look um, nine inches yep yeah, nine inches long there and I think about four and a half one two three yep yeah, four and a half ish by three two and a half deep anyway that's beside the point so this is the shed what I've done is um, I've based the front of 26 on the Hanbury Street uh, photograph so if we go as if we're standing at the front door of Hanbury Street there and have a look you'll see that the stairs are were at the front the back door of Han Hanbury Street was uh, uh, there going out into the garden or the backyard that door is the door into number 13 this wall here and the door there is obviously the the what we would call the partition wall there there's a door there I've put a couple of ghost doors one there and one there we'll call that the Praetor door uh, but that 
okay there might be a pause or a, a a bit of a break every five minutes because i can only record five minutes of um screen capture uh, for some reason so i have to uh basically ask the system to start recording every five minutes so that you might get a bit of a break which is just what's happened anyway ghost doors praetor's door there uh, may not have been there may have been there that door uh, possibly on the goads plan so I've put a door there or a door um, a ghost door there anyway uh, as everybody knows stairs may not have been there stairs may have been going up the partition wall there which is why I put that door there the Praetor door the Praetor may have came into the door if it was there and walked all <coughs> up the partition stairs to the second floor uh, to the first floor this door or partition door um, may have been there I put it there because it's sort of in a line with the uh, Hanbury Street uh, it's in agreement with Hanbury Street uh, and it's sort of a logical place um, so if you go back to the front door there it seems to be a logical place um, these walls obviously again based on Hanbury um, may not have been uh, subject to change subject to discussion um, but I would think that originally because there's a front door because there's a front door and then we got the uh, the shed doors here I think there would have been something going down here some sort of passageway uh, landing hallway um, I won't go into 13 yet um, will I no I won't but what you can what I can show you is uh, sort of like what Prater may have been talking about when she walked through her door here so she would have been standing here that's the, under the stairs there stairs may have been in front of us but as she walked past the uh, um, number 13 you'll see a crack <laughs> crack in the door there I can't just about have a look through there you won't be able to see it you won't know what it is yet but it's the, it looks like the bed of number 13 and if you have a look here yeah there's a crack in the door so as she's walking in on that night she may have seen the light uh, around the door or partition wall may have seen it as she went up her stairs either this way this way or that way um long explanation i know so i'm going to go back outside just briefly back into dorset street again this is the go plan which is exact scale that's just a placeholder for the um is it Crossingham's um, building across the street from Miller's Court there there's the other um, the other matters <coughs> matters picture there just as another example there's your chair there's a chair there and the arch obviously Miller's Court sign there um, I haven't done anything on this side it's all all um, to do with 26 so I've done everything from uh, well every floor we'll see as we go in a minute it'll probably cut out the next five minutes but we'll carry on anyway I'm just gonna go over here so we'll head on into the court there I'll stand by the chair and there's the, the uh, door and there's the Praetor's door Praetor's possible second door there um, and there's the door to number 13 uh, which again I won't go I'm only going to go in to the passageway the this is two foot what was it two foot ten from there to there it's very very narrow but this is real real tight real world sizes so it's very narrow this is exactly um, basically how it would have been if it would have been if it exists so I'm standing here now there's the Miller's Court sign there uh, and this is real size I'll walk, just walk down a little bit I'm not going to go in yet 
I'll go towards number 13's door. I haven't put any doors on yet. Uh, as I say, it's a rudimentary basic model um, because obviously everything's going to be changed. So I'm not going to uh, put too much detail in at the moment. Um, we will go into 13 now. So I'm going to walk through and uh, show you the number 13 in here. In fact, let's go to the position of the uh, Mary Jane Kelly photograph of the outside of 13 which would have been there I suppose somewhere like that you can see those um, measures which I'll remove at some point but it's just to give us um, uh, 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 just to show you the size of the room that I've uh, modelled that's number 19 there obviously number 13 Everything is modelled, I'm hoping, accurately. Um, again, as I say, I've done all of 26, nothing inside of 27. Uh, as a side note, I've also modelled um, just a basic number, what, number 11, number 12. And let's have a quick look. This is quite interesting um, for uh, that murderer, uh, there was a murderer of, I forgot her name now, Kitty Roman, Kitty Ron Ronan, uh, upstairs here. Um, so I modelled this, and these are the sizes of, the, um, I think the court testimony said that it was, they were about 12 foot, or 12 foot 2 by 12 foot from there to there. So these are the right, this is the right size for this room, it's only a tiny little room. And if we go upstairs to the room, number 12, that uh, Kitty was murdered. So there's a door to number 12. There would have been a door on there, down there, by the way. The door to number 12. And in that map, on that map, I should say, um, there was a window uh, on the map, which is curious because if you walk over to it, you can see number 13 number 19 and number 12 so kitty was murdered there so kitty was murdered there mary was murdered in that bed there and uh, lizzie roberts was murdered in number 19 which is there one two three murders three women it's quite amazing really Again, 12 foot by 12 foot 2 with the door uh, there and the bed that was in the, uh, tucked up into the corner there. I haven't put any more furniture in, just, just a basic bed. Yeah, little room, as you can see. Window was there, and as I say, there was a window on that map which uh, would have overlooked um, Privy's, that's the pump. But it would have overlooked previous there. There was previous built, moved from the top of the court down to outside of the windows of number 13. But I've used um, my model based on 1888, so there was no previous there. There was a pump. But, but I'm assuming that the window existed. And if it did, whoever was in this room on the night that Mary was murdered would have had a quite a good view into uh, number 13 so let's go back down the stairs into number 11 that would have been a door there and obviously a door to the front of the cottage we'll go out that's 11 and 12 quick look up the top I've done nothing apart from put some very very rudimentary models of the privy three there was three privies I think and all I've done is just used a basic model which I will be changed once we're settled on things. We'll walk back down the court and there's that uh, angle of uh, the uh, number 13 photograph. If we walk over to the number 13 small window that would have been the view a view into number 13 that um, this would have been the view 
that um, the chap that uh, came to collect the rent would have seen when he looked through this little window of 13 so he would have looked and should have been on the bed there um, there's the, the doorway you can see if I put it into my left hand the controller I'd be able to reach through just about and wobble the handle if the handle was there or above because there's no glass in there at the moment so it would make it a little bit more difficult um, watch the big door uh, window and the second photograph the, the picture do we see of Mary on the bed it would have been if I crouched down sort of like that or obviously they might have been inside but this that's the angle there so they would have photographed it through an open window or um, on a tripod inside in inside number 30 let's go in I meant measured uh, the size of the room eight foot high ish one two three four five six seven yep and I think this is about 14 one two three four five six seven nine, 11 12 13 14 and from there to there is 10 there was a ruler there I don't know where it's gone um, so this is number 13 basic 13 which is probably doesn't need much changing um, the door <coughs> the door may have been there it may have been two foot from the from that wall I don't think it would be any further down it would be around that area so let's walk uh, yeah let's walk back up the passage Uh, outside number 26 the uh, shed double shed doors and the front door to number 26 which I'm going to walk through now so we're back in here um, back into the shed and a phantom door the ghost door I'm going to go up the stairs now because I'm not going to take too much time Um, onto the landing of the first first floor, first floor landing so um, this is where all the more controversy exists of the design of this first floor um, the store cupboard or or a little little room nine foot deep I think there's um, court testimony said something something about nine feet uh, between the two doors between number um, 20 and number 19 could have been as little as seven um, there was um, partition walls that um, the husband of the murdered woman in here in number 19 bashed on could have been that one that could have been that one um, it could have been the, the door uh, sorry the wall to the store but anyway night uh, number 20 is this room this is the front of number 26 so if I look outside the window you'll see where we are there okay just to get your bearings so number 20 uh, so they would have come out the door and they said that number 19 was opposite there's the door to 19 um, and I think uh, I think the husband in his testimony was saying something about uh, I mean, um, knocking on the partition which separates uh, number 20 from the stairs so that could have been that one there let's go into 19 number 19 the lady was uh, killed in here or stabbed in here um, there would have been a bed along here somewhere I think he said the foot of the bed was by the window so it would have been about here and then they struggled out onto the landing fell out onto the landing here um, and um, 
the chap that was in number 20 uh, was alerted and came out and uh, well the rest of the testimony you can you know about so this might be close if the stairs went up the side of the house side of 26 this way if they went up this side of the wall if the stairs went up the partition wall that would be this wall and they would have come out in the store um, in the floor of the store cupboard here which is a possibility but we'll have to discuss that let's just nip into 19 walk over to the window and you can see the view out into the out into Miller's Court there's number um, number 12 there's the door to number 12 there and a window that was looking directly into number 19 there. now what we're going to do now is I'm going to go upstairs again stand on this landing here so there's not the the landing of the first floor we're going up the stairs and we're going to go up here to the second floor that is the window that is under the eaves of the roof as a long longish thin window um, again this is probably wrong design but it fits well because it would light up this stairwell that window would light up the stairwell so if you go up onto the landing there's a window a bit close there's a window which if I just stand there you can't really see how it does there's the the um, stairs and this is the landing onto this the second floor landing if I'm going to stand there and I'll show you the, the other window which is looking out into the court there's the cottages on the right and the cottages on the left there that would have been the confectionery factory uh, which is a, just a placeholder uh, if I get close to the window that's the chimney down into 19 and in, right down into thir into 13 there and if I stand back a little bit so there's the, the thin window under the eaves of the roof and there's a larger window and what I'm going to just do now is just to give you uh, a bit of a, an understanding of where we are I'm going to go out onto the roof of the 19 turn back and you'll see where we are there's the window the thin window and there's a larger window attic if I hop like spider-man over onto here you'll see what I mean so that's what we were just looking out of that window there if I hop back onto here let me have a look down oh sorry I just bashed into the wall my real wall do that again there you go there's a the stairwell I could put my head through the window and have a look there let's go back we'll go up into the attic in a mo it's a good view good view of the court there um, let's go back into here that would have been another little store cupboard or a room And that's the the room above number uh, 20 which I couldn't work out oh, I forgot the number I'll just put a question mark we're at the top of number 26 now let's look out the window and have a look out I just have to um, get my bearings in my own room hang on I was right right up against my real wall so there's the, the door to this room and if we look out of, onto Dorset Street you'll see where we are there let's go back in I'm going to now walk to the foot of the attic stair, stairs so we're going up now into the attic so there's the second floor landing we're going to go all up here this I haven't done anything to there's no panel in no partitions it's just one attic space so this is the attic 
just cut off then that's why I had to restart um, may have been partitioned into two or even three rooms two uh, three small rooms but I haven't done anything at the moment with this I just uh, just an open space we go to the windows this is looking out into Dorset Street again the front of Dorset Street that's the Crossinghams there uh, the big big building up at the front of um, Miller's Court on the opposite side of Dorset Street and if we go to the back of the attic we can have a look right out into or over the court Miller's Court that's the again number uh, 12 there um, the chimney chimney stack into number 19 and 13 yeah. look out uh, the attic attic window of number 27 there so you can see where we are in here I'm now going to just jump onto that uh, building top there and look back at Miller's Court there we go just to give you a bird's eye view of it just so that you can see what I've done and what needs to be fixed or changed hopefully it's um, closest to what you imagine Miller's Court and number 26 to be um, as I say the previous let's go back into the court now I haven't concentrated on it, I just put a, a, a placeholder privy building there. You can have a look inside at the privy. There's quite a bit of space. I think measurements close ish, but I do think that this is probably more narrow. Yeah, that's, that's going to be about eight feet from there, from that cottage wall to that cottage wall. I think it was a lot less. walk down again to number 13 the view of 13 and the pump there just have a little bit more of a walk up and out onto Dorset Street onto the pavement there and turn and walk over here back into the shed yeah I mean this might have been uh, at the time it was a shed completely open plan none of this might have been here um, it might have been completely one open space um, I don't know so if I walk over to the uh, partition door and I stick my head through it you'll see where we are uh, if we go into 13 uh, the second photo that was taken across uh, from this direction across the bed looking at me uh, where Mary was on the bed was probably around about here so if I crouched at, crouch down I was about I don't know about there somewhere the bed might have been moved might not have been moved who knows stand up uh, oh yes that's the the lamp which I think is uh, in the right place and I think that's about it for now I won't harp on anymore I'll stand over here I just have one last look number 13 number 19 there and the attic and hopefully I'll get some good feedback uh, on what needs to be changed thanks for watching